Hey everybody, it's Zach Hawk with Hawk Outfitters uh, Company. We're here today, I'm gonna show you how to wax a hat. Um, I'm using Hawk Waterfowl Water Wax. You can get that online for 14 bucks. Um, the stuff's good, works on all canvas, tin cloth materials. Um, so what you do is, obviously you take a hat, and this one's not waxed yet. All the hats, these uh, hats that we sell, I wax them and send them out. Um, I take and put, you can put rubber gloves or latex gloves on. You just apply it pretty generously. You wanna get in here? And I just apply it on there all the way over. The big thing is the seams to make this as most water resistant as possible. I wanna hit the seams really good. That's one of the first things I hit. And then you just put it throughout the hat. I'm trying to do this quick. But yeah, do a good job and get it on there good. So we're just applying it throughout the hat. This works on anything. Um, I even have old game straps that I use that are canvas. Uh, you know, your old Filson jackets, your Avery Heritage jackets, anything that's got that canvas material can be used. I got a blind bag that I use that's canvas, also wax it every year. And it does wear off as the year goes, just like anything. But what's cool about these bags is you still get, or what's cool about canvas and canvas bags is you still get that waterproof, uh, them being waterproofed helps to keep them, you know, dry and keep your shells and stuff dry. But yeah, just continue to apply it on there. And it actually does go a long way. Um, I would say, you know, it doesn't even take a quarter of a can to, to do a hat. And if you're doing a jacket, you might want to buy a couple cans for a larger jacket. So just applying it on there, getting the seams good, trying to make it even throughout the hat. And a lot of times when I'm done, like these I've already done just a few minutes ago. I just sit in there and let them sit for a second. So I might go on to something else before I do the final process, um, which is using the hairdryer to heat it up. All right, so I got it applied on there pretty good. What I do is I take a rag that I use just for this to get some of the excess off and it kind of helps it blend in a little bit good, pretty good too. So I just take and kind of wipe it over the hat getting some of the excess off of there. There we go. There we are. Then I'll take I've already, like I said, I'll go, I'll let it sit. These have been sitting just a few minutes, same same deal. Kind of kind of helps it soak in a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the hair dryer. I let it heat up pretty good and I get it pretty close because it kind of burns it in there to the fabric. Not burns, I guess that's probably not the right word. Just kind of helps it soak into the fabric as it as it dries. As it starts to dry it in and kind of bake it in there, you'll see some spots you might need to hit. So you just take a little bit, like right here on the cap here, need a little bit more and I just take and kind of bake it in. But I get really close because that helps, I guess that's a better term to bake it in. Take and get it real good. And it'll dry a little bit more. I'd let it sit for a few hours before you put it on. But you can kind of 
See there on the patch, I sometimes wipe the patches down, but there we go. But yep, that's it. Cool, again, you can get our water wax online at hawkoutfittersco.com or hawkwaterfowl.com. And uh, again, use it on all your canvas, tin, and wax uh, materials. Thank you.